Hello, everyone. This is Bucket Pam for Life. And that's some guy in a hill with a sign. Who is about to get knocked off by a dragon? <laughs> okay, um, I'm about to do this LP of Spiral the Dragon, and I know that a lot of other people have already done it. Uh, one popular one being named Sonic Dude 101, but you know, and that's S O N I K for those that didn't know. But, you know, I just decided I gotta do this, you know, because I've always loved this game. And it's one of the LPs I've had lined up anyway. Also, it's pretty much a good break from, I want a big ultimatum, but, yeah. In the world of dragons. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six, for a dragon's age? We now have 12,000 treasure, or... <laughs> he's spun to the sheep. <laughs> now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his god. I'll take that question. Nasty Nord is a simple creature. Vampire. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is a ugly bad does I think they're pretty much wrong on the... Uh... On the harmless aspect of Nasty Nork. No threat? Right. <coughs> but anyways, let's begin. As it says, the adventure begins, and we will begin our adventure. Let's gotta get down any of these controls. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna ask all these dragons later if I want to, but, you know, it's beneficial to just do it right now. Well, let's look. Let's see what's... Okay, that's roll. Count of controls. Alright, I'm good. To the first dragon! Nestor! Thank you for releasing this island. You're welcome. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloons. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nord? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Okay, what I'm going to do is just basically find all the dragons for this place and then collect every single one of the gems. And then, uh, that'll be the first vid. And then afterwards, I'll do the different worlds, you know, you'll be able to see me collect stuff and different things like that. Oh, look, one of these guys. <coughs> oh, yeah, that's always fun. <laughs> Come on, Sparks, do your job! Collect those gems! Yes! Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torture you. Yeah. Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Well, it would have been obvious that he was like a health bar, but, you know, it's, I guess you have to play the game to actually get that. You know, one, actually, one thing I actually found interesting about this is the platformer aspect that I put into the game, and, like, the different heights you actually have to go to in order to collect every single thing in the game. And like the lengths you have to go through as well, and like uh slowing to different heights and like uh using interesting solutions to uh, gain gems you wouldn't normally find like those gems, you know? But you know that gem is easily found pretty much for the uh yeah. I mean the gems in like the early worlds are easy to find. But as you go on, um you know it gets harder and harder to find every single gem in the game. I think that's basically what makes it a good platform, you know. I mean, there are a lot of different things that make it a good platform, like uh, the puzzle aspect in the later games, <coughs> as well as the fun aspect. Argus. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the Dragon Mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. He said I'm ready. Because he sucks. But anyways. Continue. Okay. What do I do on this hill? Burn flowers. <laughs> hmm. I see. Gems! Fly! Yes! Okay. And I, I can't always make that guy. You know, I'm proud that I actually made that one on the first try. You know, it's kind of a hard one to do. In my mind, anyway. The 
Look like it makes Spyro do. Ah. Yeah. You have to forgive me if I'm bad on the controls. I've been playing this on the PSP a lot because, well, I love the game. And I had to get it for the PSP as well as uh, PS1. So, there you go. That's my reasoning for the bad controls. And, yeah. Let's get that platform. It's not needed. You can jump high. It's a high jumper, man. It's high jump. High jump boots choir. I didn't even know this was... Uh, Wizards and Warriors, which is actually kind of a fun game. I wouldn't actually call it fun per se. <coughs> I don't know, Spyro does have a high jump to him, I have to admit. But you know, it's usually aided by like an outside force, like a push to the rear. And by the way, to refill sparks, kill one of these guys, one of those little butterflies will appear and he eats it. Just a little front on one for you so that you know you'd know for later if you if you ever play this game, if you haven't played this game before, I'd be really surprised because it is one of the best platformers for the PS1 out there. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide, and, and don't be afraid. Afraid? On um, what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Oh jeez, he talks to, like some sort of guy with an accent that I don't know about. Okay. Um, anyways. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I got around this side. <coughs> this is the side with the gems. I always mess up on that one, you know. It's, I always mess up. Doesn't matter how many times I play through this, uh, I sometimes mess up on that, you know. And, uh, get inspired by a headache by doing that. Yeah, that's always fun. Yeah, that's all them damn gems, right? Oh yeah, hell heck yes. <laughs> Give all them's to me. I need them. They are valuable for my money. I don't know what a dragon would need with money, but whatever. Yeah, I mean it's it's his game, so it's Spyro the dragon, so let's let Spyro have the money, right? That's what I think. And therefore, that is what it shall. I need those. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh. Oh. Yes. Oh. Stuffs. The last uh, gems, if I'm not mistaken, are to the right this time instead of the left, which is that way that I just went that way, but now I must go this way. Jump. Ah. Kick ass on the jumps, right? I need one more. Where? Where is that last jump? I must have missed it somewhere. In my meandering, so. Oh, you know, yeah. Let's cut from here. Cut. Oh, wait. Never mind. There we go! Got all the gems, woo! Got all the dragons, too. <coughs> yeah, that's everything for this place. Now I'll just find a place to save. Which I think I'll save this big guy that I met at the start. Seems like a nice place, don't you think? I think so. And there we go! Hello, Miss Fairy. Uh, Zoe is your name? Hi. Boy, you're pretty for a fairy. Even prettier than Tink. No, I'm kidding. Tinkerbell would get really angry if I told her that, or if she knew about me saying that. But anyways, this is where I'll stop it for now, and uh, goodbye everyone.